Hello everyone, we are moving on with the uh, just before the expansion hits, quite, quite literally, uh, series. Uh, we are going to talk about you know bosses, tormented bosses, uh, and boss materials. So, what are bosses, guys? So, in the game, there are six bosses. You know, Lilith is a little bit different. Six plus one. Or six plus three plus one. Let me get into it. So first off, we have the world bosses. Uh, they spawn once every three and a half hours. Don't have one. There are three of them: Ashawa the Pestilent, Avarice the Gold Curse, and Wandering Death. Right? As I said, they spawn once every three and a half hours, and they do gotta give some nice loot. That's it. So then we have the end game bosses. The end game bosses are Echo of Varshan, Grigor the Galvanic Saint, Lord Zir the Beast in Ice. Duryo King of Magos and Echo of Ender, right? Also you know, referred to with their name shortly as Varsham, Grigor, Zir, Beast, Duryo, and Ender. So they have two versions. Let me just show it to you. I don't have too many maps right now on me, but I can show it to you. So they all, you can spawn them all in a different dungeon, right? Let's just go. So this is just under the uh, Three of whispers, like right, malignant burrow. That's it. That's it. So, guys, we can have version here requires malignant hearts and stygian stones. So, this is the regular version. This is, uh, you, know, uh, you know, relatively weak. And the tormented version is level 200 and it's very strong. And these have a chance to. Uh, summon uh, these Java have a chance to drop uh, those beautiful mythic eunuchs and because these are not tradable this is your only way of getting them unless you gather a lot of sparks and this is also you know the premium way to gather sparks as well because you know sparks are you know the only grindable version of obtaining sparks is well there are two but you know, I have talked about this not repeating myself but the best method is just getting you know bad mythical Unique and uh, mythic unique and you know salvaging them. Uh, I don't have the material for this one. I mean, let me find the uh, one that I have the materials of. I think the beast in ice is fear. So, guys, I mean, I have done quite a lot of these, but. No, not way too many, so I'm still not familiar. So the materials are in the second tab. I do have... So the materials, let's just talk about those for a second. So guys, there are... So this... Okay. Here. So there are different materials, guys. So there are the malignant hearts that is used to summon that guy we just, you know, were about to engage. There is living steel. Living steel is used to summon uh, Grigor, I'm guessing. Yes, it's Grigor, right? Uh, Lord Zir the Vampire Fella gets summoned by this blood. The sphere summons uh, the beast in ice. Uh, the egg and shard of agony. Let me just, you know, not make a mistake here. Again, shards of agony are used to summon Duriel, and there is also a shackle kind of thing. The doll and the, uh, the doll and the shackle are used to summon and dare. So, guys, uh, the formula is as follows: you require a certain amount of materials to summon the boss, and to summon the tormented version, you need twice as much and a stygian stone. That's why Stygian Stone is valuable, right? The tormented bosses are summoned by using Stygian Stones. So, let me just find the Beast in Ice. Okay, grab this. I think it was near Yovashad. Ah, there it is. Let me just show you once. 
because each one of them has a location, right? And you can find these you know, relatively easily. Let me just show you one. And the tormented ones are you know, hard to kill. You should generally bring a group, and you know, bringing a group is also useful for other reasons that I will be revealing in a later videos. You can do with a group, and you, know, you can increase your chance of success, and you can also benefit from the materials of others without to not make a mystery of it. I mean, there is some monsters, but you don't mind them. Just move. Okay. There we are. So it requires nine distilled fear or to twenty seven distilled fear plus one to do stuff. And you gain these, you know, you gain these from a lot of places. But the most grindable version is you. You get three upon finishing uh, fear thirty or higher nightmare dungeon. So let's just summon him. Of course, this will be the weaker version. Here he comes. I mean, wow, he was weaker than I was expecting this. So, you know, you shouldn't be making, you know, you shouldn't be spending too much time on these. You should be going for Torment versus Wow. I did get Esus, eh? Okay, so, uh, uh, who do we have again? We have... The world bosses after that, we have the summonable bosses like this, right? Uh, Varshan, Grigor, Zir, Beast, Duil, and Andario, right? They each have a, you know, location. So, for example, uh, the, the, which one was the one we went to? We went to Zir, no, we went to Varshan. Varshan is just under, you know, the Tree of Whispers there, right? The nondescript uh, dungeons are generally so Duriel is here, I believe. Yeah, Gaping Crevasse, this is Duriel, right? And as I said, the material formula is simple. Whatever the normal boss requires, you triple the materials, and as Stygian Stone, Hangman's All, that's Andario, right? And this is, bar none, the best method of getting Mythic Uniques and Sparks. Perfectly spammable, by the way. And you can just go here and you know, summon over and over. Uh, about the boss materials, let's get to that. So they all drop from different locations and different activities. But you know, for example, for distilled fear, the main source is uh, nightmare dungeon. As you can see, I did a lot. So there is also the exquisite blood that is used to summon Lord Zir, uh, the vampire fella. And you know the people that summon those also get these materials. Yeah. So for example, Hall of the Penitent, that's this one. So you summon Grigoire with the living steel, right? And if you beat Grigoire, only the one that summons Lord. Uh, Grigoire, you'll be getting these shards of agony, right? So, and Daniel's and Duriel's materials are from farmed from the four lesser bosses, right? And you know, that gives the impression that they are better and they have better loot. Nope, the 7.5% across tormented bosses is the same, right? So, Varshan, Grigoire, Zir, and the Beast in Ice are somewhat inferior, but they still. Uh, drop the same quality of loot with Duriel and Dan. So, uh, you know, uh, Varshan drops the Shard of Agony. Maybe uh, Burrow. That would be... That would be Varshan. Varshan drops the Egg, right? Uh, the Beast in Ice drops the Doll. And the last one is Lord Zir. Lord Zir drops the 
shackle that used to summon undead. So you can, uh, you know, Varshan and Grigor give you the mats for Duriel, and the other two give you the materials for and then, right? And so how do we get the other stuff? So this is mostly uh, obtained from uh, Hell Tides, and if you can gather a whopping sum of 275 aberrant cinders, there are chests that drop five of these. Right? Uh, yeah, and also drops from other stuff as well. Uh, the blood uh, drops from uh, the Blood Maiden and some Legion events, Blood Maiden in Hell Tides, uh, and this is used to summon uh, Lord Zir. So these are the, uh, what's the formula? Uh, the, the, the last one is the Heart, that is for Varshan. So we have Hearts for Varshan, we have Living Steel for Grigor, we have Distilled Field for the Misty Nice, and Exquisite Blood for Zir. And as I said, those drop the materials to summon the other two. But thing is, these materials, this egg, uh, uh, this shard, uh, the doll, and the shackle only drop for the one that summoned for the boss. So, guys, we go into, you know, let's say, uh, Grigoire, right? And I summon the Grigoire, and then I will be getting, you know, some shards of egg and drops, right? And of course, you know, the normal one drops one, the Formatted drops like five or six, maybe, right? And so for summoning uh, and Daryl and Duriel, you need six of each of these, right? Six slip, six eggs and six shards, and one uh, Stygian stone for uh, Duriel, and six dolls and six shackles plus one Stygian stone for and Daryl. So, yeah, that's about it for the bosses. And as I said, uh, uh, as soon as you get strong and, you know, you can enter a group and, you know, can kill those, you should start on these because, and they also drop a huge amount of uh, legendaries, let me say, like 20 legendaries, 5 uniques, and on top of it, a chance to, for a mythical unique, right? And those uh, legendaries, you can sell them for a nice amount of silver, you can get a lot of crafting materials out of it, and they are also very nice to uh, find and max the aspects that you need, right? So it's a nice act, it's a little bit boring, but uh, yeah, that's about it, and the rotation part we will be discussing in another video, and I'll see you on the next one, we are nearing the end, don't fret. <laughs>